Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your Cardboard Concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Tonight, the question we are going to answer is what's in the box in regards to this board game, The Shining from the Op. Not to be confused with the other Shining board game that is currently out there right now. Uh, this is a Coded Chronicles game. This is an escape room in the box style game from the Bamboozle Brothers, Senfun Lim and Jay Cormier. Uh, this is the follow-up to Scooby-Doo Escape from the Haunted Mansion. Like follow-up is in its the second game in the series, which I greatly enjoy. If you want to learn about Scooby-Doo Escape from the Haunted Mansion, please head over to tabletopbellhop.com. You can click on reviews or unboxing videos because I've got both. I am really looking forward to checking this game out because my family loved the Scooby-Doo game. No, I won't be playing this one with the family as this is based on a horror movie, horror novel, uh, The Shining. This isn't one I'm going to be playing with the kids. This one's just going to be my wife and I. But before I can play it, I need to open this up. So we are going to take a look at what's in the box in just one second. First off, though, I would like to say, make sure you uh, subscribe, ding the bell, thumbs up, like, do all that stuff that us content creators love to see on social media that helps us get the word out about our content. If you're on YouTube, make sure you hit the I up here for links to the blog, to other unboxing videos, as well as a link to our Patreon where you can tip the bellhop if you appreciate videos like this. Enough about me and my stuff. Let's take a look at what's in the box. Step one is going to be to cut the shrink. So I just have a handy dandy craft knife here that I'm going to use to get things started. And what I will do is quickly go through the back of the box here to let you know. So The Shining Escape from the Overlook Hotel game. Again, not to be confused with the other The Shining board game. Avoid falling prey to Jack Torrance and the Overlook Hotel in this suspenseful Coded Chronicles game. You will be challenged to find a way out of the hotel alive by taking on the roles of Wendy and Danny to uncover new clues and puzzles to escape the madness of Jack in the Overlook Hotel in this cooperative escape room style game. In Coded Chronicles, players use numbers depicted on various components to create codes and journals that provide clues to unlock 11 envelopes full of new puzzles and items to lead you out of the hotel. Using The Shining will only help so much in this game, in this high anxiety, one-time gameplay experience. So that is important to note, that it is a one-time gameplay experience. All right, here you go. We have the box for The Shining and one fair warning for anyone who likes puzzle games. I'm gonna throw up here right in the corner. You will note the difficulty is red. Note, the Scooby-Doo difficulty was green, so I'm expecting this to be much more difficult. But first, let's take a look at what we got in this box. I am so looking forward to this one. I am hyped about this game. So we have the rule book, which I expect to be very short. It does say read me first. We have the rules. A nice shot of everything you get. I love it when companies include the components of the game. I also like that they show the back and the front of some of the cards. Quickly walk you through how to play we have Look, Use, Look, and Shine are your different abilities in this Coded Chronicles game. So that's a little different from the last game. Different art style. I like that they, they obviously didn't get the movie license as everyone's generic. That's an interesting touch. Uh, we do have an end game score. And uh, one difference between this and the Scooby-Doo game is there's no mystery to solve in this one. You were just trying to escape. So it's probably going to be... Um, the number of times you failed at a puzzle or whatever. And that's it. So we're looking at seven pages. It does note that there is a chapter break, so it looks like there'll be a way to save the game. And then we do have a hints chart. And then the unscripted endings. Okay, so that's if you fail on a puzzle. So we have an unscripted endings track that replaces the Scooby track. I note this is from the op and licensed by Warner Brothers. So we have a journal for the one of the journals here, for one of the characters. From one to a thousand, this is Wendy Torrance's journal. And I don't want to spoil anything, so we're just going to just quickly, this is what you get. is a bunch of numbers. You look them up, you read what it says, and you do what it says. So we have a journal for Wendy, and we have a second journal for Wendy that's the 2000 to 299. Same deal. Then we have Danny's journal, which, man, I have books that look like this. Composition books. Same deal. Bunch of codes to look up. And then we have visitor booklet for the Overlook Hotel. Same deal. It's going to be more codes to look up. Then we move on to the rest of the contents. So we have the cards. Now, again, I don't want to spoil anything here. So what I'm going to do is I will flip over the top card in this deck and that's it. But first, I got to get this out of the shrink wrap. 
So here we have, it's a significant stack of cards. I'm going to see if it's numbered. So there are 44 cards here. And here you have the first card. And again, I'm going to flip over just this first card because I don't want to spoil anything. Right? This is an escape room style game. We don't want to give anything away. So here is the first card. Looks like the contents of a drawer showing a couple of the different items as well uh, as some notes on the card. Cards are solid, nice quality. I have no complaints about these cards whatsoever. They're a little thin, I guess, all with the artwork on the back. Now, again, I don't want to spoil anything, so that's all you get to see. Next, we have a large number of envelopes, and there's some interesting stuff in here. I can feel some interesting bumps and stuff in here. Um, I don't think this is going to quite fit, but you got it. it's nice and branded. Like, it looks like an Overlook Hotel envelope you might find in your room. So we have 11 of these. I think it said on the box. Yeah, so 11 envelopes. Then we have the character standees. The blue ones may give me a problem showing them off. So we have oh, only two are available at the start of the game. So that's interesting. Uh, oh, well, they're two-sided. I get it. Okay. That's cooler than I thought. So you have the use side of the character and the look side of the character. And then on this one, you have shine and look again. So once we get to the room tiles, I can kind of show off the, and there is a baggie to put these in. Then we get to the room tiles. Again, I don't know which one's the first one. I'm just gonna pick one of them. I'm gonna assume the kitchen is the first one and I will show you the kitchen. So here is the kitchen, as you can see there. So here you have the room and the way this game works is say I want to look at this desk if, with this character, I would go here and then I would look up 3101 in that character's book. Or if I wanted to use something like say this doorway, I would go here and I would look up 2106 in the book. Now again, I'm not gonna do that. I don't wanna spoil anything. I don't wanna give anything away. So that is it. Um, there are not a lot of room tiles here. There are only three room tiles. So it's not a lot of rooms compared to the uh, the Scooby-Doo had a, had a full mansion to explore. And only two characters this time. And then we have an envelope. This will be empty. This is just because the game is broken into two acts. And it takes a while to play these. These are not quick escape room games. This is not like an exit box. It's gonna take you a while to get through them. And what they expect is you may play over two days. And if you do, this is your envelope for saving. So again, we have the Act 2 envelope, and when you start off Act 2, you're going to read entry number 9999 and find out what to do. And then we have a box insert. Nice, basic, simple, I don't know, keeps everything in place, I guess. Just the size for the envelope, too. And that's it. That is what you get in The Shining from the Op. So again, you're going to use the rooms. You're going to use your characters to either use or look, look or shine. And try to solve the mystery, or sorry, not solve the escape from Overlook Hotel. I, I love these envelopes, they're actual like real envelopes. That's a nice touch. It's a nice effect. And what will happen is some of the clues are gonna tell you to display these cards, which I did show off this one card. So this is the same deal. If I wanted to use this knife, I would take my character standy and put it next to here. And to use this knife, I would use 2105. So for example, 2105 to use the knife. It's a very fascinating system that I thought is utterly brilliant. As I said, I, my family greatly enjoyed the Scooby-Doo version. We are really looking forward to checking out this version, the latest Codus Chronicles game from Senfum Lim, J. Cormier, and the wonderful people at the Op. I do have to thank the Op for sending me this as a review copy, which again, you know, I'm gonna mention that again in the closeout credits, just in the idea of full disclosure. All right, there we have it. That's what you get in The Shining from the Op, a new Coded Chronicles game. Uh, basically a bunch of cards and standees uh, and booklets that you're gonna read from. I am really looking forward to checking this out. I do have to thank Ross Thompson at the Op for sending me a review copy of this. Thank you so much, Ross. I am so looking forward to checking this game out. It looks great. Um, really impressed by the, the look of this. The aesthetic of this is very cool. Uh, my only disappointment is I'm not going to get to play this one with the kids. So, hey, the op, Ross, Jay, Sen, some more kid-friendly ones would be awesome. My kids would love, say, a Voltron. Would be pretty dang cool if you could get us a Voltron one. Or um, what's another one they love? Um, Troll Hunters. There's another license they'd love to see. 
But I am looking forward to playing this one with my wife. This is The Shining from the Op. I am Mo Tuzno, the Tabletop Bellhop. Again, you can find my content at tabletopbellhop.com, which you can find a link for right up here. Thank you for your time today, and good night, and game on.